Hey everyone, today I just want to show you how to build a single plant zero take shuriken farm design that uses absolutely zero slime or quartz. So that means that you can build it very early game, so right after you get some redstone ore and you have some iron, you can just get all of the materials that are needed for this farm and straight away start farming shuriken. And this is the main thing that sets this design apart from others that you will find elsewhere. This alternating dispenser design is actually something very old and it has become more popular recently since the conventional Zerite Shuriken methods have been well broken. And yeah, unfortunately this method is a little slow, but it is acceptable and it makes the zero tick mechanic a little more balanced in my opinion, because well the shuriken you get from this little effort is still pretty crazy. So what you see here is that there are two dispensers being rapidly pulsed at the same time and the water source will just be alternated from one side to the other and that will force the shuriken to grow. And then there is a torch burnout at the top which will detect the shuriken and break it. And this is good because it means that we do not have to use any observers. And for this clock too we are merely using torches and pistons. This is a 4 game to clock and this is something that a lot of other people compromise on. They use a slower clock than a 4 game to clock. And for this alternating dispenser design, it is absolutely necessary that you use a 4 game to clock because it is already slow. And if you use a slower clock, for example an observer clock, well, you will lose even more of the already low rates. And in this case, this clock does not use any quartz or slime like I said. Unfortunately, like I said, the alternating dispenser method is not very fast, so you get about 380 shuriken per hour, as opposed to the old 1000 per hour that you got with the piston pushing into the water design, but I still think that it's pretty acceptable rates, and in fact it's pretty great considering the amount of effort that you invest into this. I mean, look at this, it's absolutely tiny. So, those are the materials that you're going to need, it's pretty basic. So just to be clear, you can use any type of salt blocks, stairs and glass, you can even replace a glass with salt blocks, and those are dispensers, so make sure to not use any droppers. And well, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so let's start us off. You're going to want to build a 3 high block column, just like this, and remove the lower blocks. What you can do then is have two pistons facing right down, then you get your lever, redstone torch and redstone dust, place one lever right here, flick it and two torches on top of the pistons. Then you have one redstone dust right here and that will be the main clock for the system. Now on top of the torch on the right side put one solid block and then you're just going to have two dispensers facing up looking just like this. What you do then is have one piece of dirt right here, place one stair facing like this and have a chest right here. Then just have a hopper facing right into that chest. Next take some glass or any block and just put them on the sides of the stair or the hopper so that the water doesn't float anywhere. And what you want to do then is to waterlock this stair right here. Put the empty buckets that you got from putting the water source there right into this dispenser and then just put the full water bucket in the other dispenser. If you turn this on, as you can see, the water source will go back and forth. You can next up just turn this off and what we're going to do is place one salt block on top of the stair. Then we have one piston facing into this direction. Then we just have some more salt blocks like this. Get your torch and your redstone dust and place them like this. This will just repeatedly pulse and well it will calm down eventually and this will be the detection system for the shuriken breaking. At this point you can place down your shuriken and you can just close this thing off. When you do close it off it will trigger the braking system but that's no problem at all. And there you go, that's the entire thing. So we can just test it out and as you can see it does indeed work. Let's just wait for it to grow a little. Like I said it is a little slow but we already have it growing and it will produce shuriken. Due to the nature of the design, it is a little loud, but if you have access to obsidian, you can always just place some obsidian in front of the pistons and it will still work fine. The pistons serve no purpose in moving, it's just because they get powered differently than normal blocks do, that they are needed. And of course, if you want to, you can lower this part into the ground and have the chest at foot level, just make sure that you have access to the lever to toggle this farm. 
Alright, that's the tutorial for my very simple single plant Zyrtec Shuriken farm that of course doesn't use any slime or quartz. And this is I think something very cool because well you can literally build it after you get your first pieces of redstone and that's what makes this farm so great. So if you do find it useful then make sure to subscribe and I have many more tutorials and just over a cool Minecraft Bedrock Tech videos like this on my channel. And uh, well, I hope you found this useful and with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you around. Bye!